Alright, so this week we got the Colts. Big, big, huge game today. This is the game where we're going to be, um, we're... Hmm. So, alright, so this is the game where we've got the Colts. Big, big game. This is the game where we're honoring Coach Shule at the... Is... Kyle? Where? Is nobody going to interrupt? Where? Did, are there really no pancakes this time? Kyle? Karen? Pancakes? Let's go Dolphins! Dolphin fans. So every year, if you've been a Dolphin fan for however long, since basically since 1972, every year the Dolphins have at least one, sometimes more like three, false hope games. Those are the games where we win big and we say we're getting it together. We've got it going on. And then not so much. This is this is the game. This is the game. This team is not going to fall to 1-3 with the big, hard bucks coming in next week or going there or coming in. I forget where we're playing. It doesn't matter. We're staying in the damn state of Florida. The point is, is this is the game where we're going to win big and everybody's going to say, okay, whew, we still have a chance to make the playoffs, etc., etc. This is the fall. It's the first one. It's the first one. There will be another one. There will be another one somewhere around 4 and 5 and 5 and 4. We will win a game to make us go, okay, if we could just win this game, that game, this game, that. So just recognize this game for what it is. Enjoy the day. It's a beautiful day. They're honoring Don Shula. 40 to what? What did I pick? I think I picked 40 to 14 Miami. We're going to win this game big. Going to win it going away. It means nothing. It means nothing. But we'll take it. We're Dolphin fans. We'll take it. And then we got to take our ass kicking next week. So it's 7-3 to three Colts at halftime. Since this is only halftime and it's possible we might come back and win this game, I'm going to keep, keep the ranting to a minimum here. But what I will say is that this coaching staff flat out sucks. They just flat out suck. We have an opportunity to kick a 55-yard field goal. We have one of the best kickers in the league. 55 yards for Sanders is not an issue whatsoever. And, and we, we attempt to draw them off sides, take the delay, and then punt the ball away. And, yes, I know that, you know, we had a good punt and we, and we you know, tagged them in deep there. But that's not the point. It's a mentality. You can watch the body language of this team. This team is completely just out there going through the motions. There's absolutely no emotion with this team whatsoever. Guys get a little bit dinged up. They go off the field. They don't come back in. There's no heart. There's no heart here. And that starts at the top. I mean, we can jibber-jabber back and forth all we want about two of this and Brissett that and all this. Brissett... You know, I, he makes some inaccurate throws after he's gotten the ability to throw because he's having to, you know, run around. So he's running around making inaccurate throws where Tua would have probably been sacked so the throw wouldn't have been made. Um, and the offensive system is just pathetic. There's just nothing else to say right now. We don't even attempt to throw the ball more than five, eight yards down the field. And... I don't know if it's play design or our wide receivers, but when we do throw the ball down the field at all, everybody's covered. There's nobody open. There's nobody open. The couple of times Brissett's been running around, and he throws the ball, and he's throwing it into a crowd, almost getting picked a couple of times because nobody's open. So I don't know if that's, if, if that's just pathetic design, where on one play it definitely was because there were three wide receivers right there in one area and, like, all six defensive backs. So, 
we started off the game looking like we were going to do the right thing, which was run the ball, get our four or five yards on first down, and then have the short passing game fill in. But that doesn't work if you're not willing to freaking kick a field goal or go for it on fourth and seven from that end. I mean, go for it. Go for it. Go for the first down if you're not going to kick the field goal. The mentality of this coaching staff is pathetic. It's, 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 it's really, really disappointing. It's hard to watch. This is a team that we should be whooping their ass. We should be ahead 21 to 3, 21 to 7 at this point. If we had any ingenuity and any freaking imagination on offense. So see what happens with the rest of this game. But this ain't good. At this point, you almost start, you see it online. You're starting to see. Maybe it'd just be better if we lost this game, lost next week to the Bucks, so we can start looking forward to when these guys get blown out of town because that's eventually happening. That's eventually happening. These aren't the guys. The, this, this, this just, damn, it is sad to see. We, we blew everything up and rebuilt, and this is, this is what we got. This is, we, we took apart a Geo Metro and we put it back together again and all we did was make it into a Ford Focus. So 27-17 final, Dolphins lose. And um, the 17 is an illusion. Let, let's not pretend, okay? Yes, we opened up the offense there when we were way behind. But let's be honest, the Colts started playing a little bit soft. And we still only have one... We have two plays on offense that work for throwing the ball downfield, and that is chuck it up in the air to Parker and cross our fingers and somehow find a way to get the ball to Kaseki over the middle. Nobody else is getting open. Nobody else is getting open. Uh, Waddle started off the game okay, and then Kaputz. Albert Wilson, what, he had one, two catches. We're not designing any, any slants, anything to get him open. Fuller hurt his hand and had to go sit down. So, um, you know, next week he might cut himself shaven and have to sit down for that. So we'll see what happens there. And, oh, but, 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 but it's not worth ranting about. Not this game. Because now we're 1-3. and three. We're fixing to be 1-4. and four, And this team is bad. And it's, it's bad on so many different levels that it's not fixable without a complete rebuild. Because we've wasted... A ton of draft capital. The offensive linemen have not panned out. Defensively, we looked good last year. But let's be honest, that's three weeks in a row now that this Dolphins defense has come out in the second half and laid an absolute egg. Absolutely garbage in the second half, especially today when we finally get to the point where it's a, you know only a two-score game, which would have been a one-score game had we had the cojones to kick the field goal earlier. But... Still, there was plenty of time left. It was only we were only down ten points, and the defense just let them go right down the field and get another touchdown. And it would have been 34-14, but luckily there wasn't enough time left on the clock, and we didn't have our timeouts. So the Colts just they were very kind to us and took a knee, but it could have easily been 34 to 17, I should say. And we deserved it to be worse than that. So, what can you do? What can you do with this team right now? To be honest with you, and I know some Dolphin fans will, there's still a few people that are going, rah, rah, we can make this work. But at this point, we have to be honest and look at this roster, and it's an unmitigated disaster. I said this last week or the week before, there's no complementary pieces on this team. We have a good secondary with no pass rush. Um, our defensive linemen, they're not really exactly stout against the run, and our linebackers are invis invisible. On the offensive side of the ball, Brissett looked decent last week, and then this week was horrible. It was awful, but I'm not convinced Tua, we're, I think we're still 1-3. With, with Tua or not, this offense is still 1-3. I, I don't see where I don't have enough faith in the defense, to be honest with you, to, to say even if we had been playing a little bit better on offense, that we would have won any of these games. So when I say the team is bad, I mean the team is bad as a collection, as a group. When you can take when you take the coaches, 
the game planning and the personnel all into consideration you put it all together it's bad it's just flat out bad so and i think that right now the jets are ahead of tennessee which means we're not even gonna we're gonna be tied for last place <laughs> we're gonna be tied for last place with the jets and we're basically one new england fumble away from being winless and we've earned that we we we've we've earned that we absolutely have so only thing we can do at this point is go to one and four and hope you know i, I saw um i saw right before i came on here omar kelly you know he's, he's not a big guy to ask for people to get fired but even he is saying hey look this is the kind of situation where somebody needs to be fired to make a defense a difference to make a point and to me um it's easy to sit here and pick up pick at the offense because they've been bad but just go look at the the defense in the second half especially that's three weeks in a row now where we've just the other team has had the ball and they've just gotten the ball and boom shoved it right down our throat for a touchdown to open up the third quarter and you can't win football games like that you just can't win any football games like that and at this point looking at our schedule um can you find six wins can you find five more wins on this schedule let's just let's just say we can win both games against the jets that still leaves us three more um yeah that would still leave us three more opportunities where we need to find wins it's not a playoff team so let's just let's just forget about that there's nothing on this team or on this roster that's going to have this team go on a five six seven game winning streak and and we were blown the raiders tiebreaker possibility we just blew the colts tiebreaker possibility so forget about it this team is going to win maybe five or six games and we'll have to see what ross does that's really where we are let's just be honest we could sit here and say let it play out but with dolphin fans we've seen how this ends is ross going to have the cojones to blow it all up again because I don't care what kind of draft capital we get if it's the same guys making more picks. It's just it's just a damn disappointment. It really is. I thought these were going to be the guys. And Flores may at some point go on and become a good coach. Maybe even, you know, should have just stayed as a defensive coordinator. But um, this ain't, it ain't happening here. Unless we're going to give them a whole another round of draft capital and see where that goes. Otherwise, we need to ship everybody out of town and try it again. And I hate to say that. I hate to say that. I hate to say that. I, I suppose we could pull a miracle off next weekend. But but where? There's not the talent on this team anymore to say we're going to, you know, start winning five, six, seven games in a row. Last year, I hate to say it, let's just be honest, it was, it was kind of fluky. All right? The defense was playing out of its mind. We were getting the most perfectly timed turnovers in the history of the nfl and we won multiple games last year where at the end of the game you were kind of like what i take it what we won right i mean let's just be honest can we be honest can we just can we just be honest about that it's not good we're not good we're really not